JQ Rose, who's this? Greetings, Miss Rose. This is I B Nosy, your official unofficial reporter. Nosy, I can't talk now. I'm with friends at my local high octane caffeine coffee shop. Miss Rose, don't hang up. I need your help. My help? Huh. That's interesting. What's up? Yeah, see, a Miss Bleachy Blonde from Girls Just Wanna Be Nosy, that's a dedicated fan club of mine, you know, wants to schedule an interview on the very date I'm to meet with you, and, well, you know, <laughs> how a comma, uh, a comma, a comma, uh, that is accommodating. Right, or how agreeable I am to gorgeous, giggling girly, <laughs> um, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, what a professional reporter I am. Don't even go there. No one is messing up my interview, especially some bleached blonde. Actually, that's a bleachy blonde. Ha, huh, more like Clorox, you mean. No, Nosy, our date is firm. But I'm going to talk about my book, Coda to Murder. You've got that information written down, right? Um, how could you forget it's about Pastor Christine Hobbs, who's been in the pulpit business for over five years, and of how she never imagined herself caring for a flock that includes a pig, a kangaroo, and a murderer. Um, well, you, you see, Miss Blonde wants to talk about how uh, she admires a hunk with a microphone. <laughs> and, um, of course, I'm, I'm more than willing. Nosy, the only thing you'll be discussing is how Detective Cole Stevens doesn't want the pretty pastor to get away with murdering the church music director. His investigative methods infuriate Christine as much as his deep brown eyes attract her. Uh, wait a minute. Miss Rose, I think we're talking about two different things here. <laughs> Please, concentrate on Ms. Blonde and a hunk of a guy with a microphone. <laughs> and, if I might add, my very own deep brown eyes, which make the ladies swoon. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Nosy, this is the bottom line of Coda to Murder. Can the detective and the pastor find the real killer and build a loving relationship based on trust? Hello? Nosy? Nosy, peroxide blonde is not stealing my interview. But, 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 but... Listen here. You're having that date with me, mister. Oh, gross. I can't believe I just said that. But, 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 throw them. Come on. Coda to murder. I mean, how, how blonde is that? Not changing the date, Nosy. Oh, Miss Rose, I don't even know why your pastor would be in the puppet business in the first place. Not a puppet. Pulpit. Like the pulpit a preacher, teacher, lecturer stands behind to give a sermon or lesson or speech. Why? Why what? Why is she doing that? Because that's her job. She's been at Day Spring Church for over five years, preaching from behind the pulpit, and sometimes in front of it, too. Uh-huh, to a pig and a kangaroo, you said. Big deal. She might as well preach to Heathcliff the Possum while she's at it. <laughs> you know, I bet Christine... That's the pastor's name. Would love to take care of a possum, especially Heathcliff. She had to take care of Abraham the pig and Katie the kangaroo. I didn't ask their names. <laughs> and the first thing that Abraham did was to dig under the fence and root up the entire backyard of the parsonage. <whistles> she got some help to fix the fence, though, from that gorgeous detective who's investigating her. Yeah, because he wants to know why someone would knock off a music director. You know, if you ask me, the logic is obvious. All right, I'll ask. What's the logic? Well, because the dude obviously sang off key. <laughs> Come on, Ivy. You know I can't tell you anything about why he was murdered. That's known as a spoiler in the writing and reading business. But if I reveal he sang off key and it ruins the story for my readers, then they would chase me down and steal all my Gumdrop Island chocolates. Well, you know, now that I think about it, you might have a point. Sure I do. After all, you've experienced something like that, right? So I'm sure you wouldn't wish it on me. Hey, wait a sec. Pastor Hobbs is beside me and she wants to give you a message. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, thanks, Pastor. Nosy, what a surprise. Pastor Hobbs is sending a package to you. Special delivery. To me? For real? Uh-huh. It expresses her anticipation for the upcoming interview. Women sending gifts. <laughs> cool. Er, what is it? Um, well, let's just say that she's calculating it should arrive at 
right about now. Well, then I should be hearing. Yes, there's the door. <laughs> Come to me, you little gift to you. <laughs> What's wrong? She sent Katie the kangaroo! So, what's the problem? Well, you didn't tell me she's a boxing roo! Oh! Ah, oh! Ah, ah, ah! Thank you.